Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're back for another weekly grind video. Uh, unfortunately, it's not Wednesday. That's not what I'm putting the video up. I'm putting it up on Friday because I wasn't available for Wednesday to do this. So, uh, weekly grind Friday? Okay, but anyway, let's go ahead and talk about it. This is the video where we go over all of the events and summons that are currently available, or the gotchas that are currently available on Dokkan Battle. Today, this week, we're covering the global side. Next week will be the JP side. If you want to know what's going on with JP that I've already done, you can go check out last Wednesday's video. I typically do weekly grind Wednesdays. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is the Battle of Gods event. Um, you actually get your Beerus medals here, your Weiss medals here, in order to Dokkan Wake in some awesome cards, actually. Um, In-game card, the farmable card, is going to be the Super Saiyan Goku. Not really worth it, in my opinion, but you can go ahead and do that to increase uh, Super Saiyan Goku Super Attack. You can also do it with the Epic event, the Epic uh, Battle event, because that's always available. Um, but you Dokkan Wake in your Super Saiyan Goku cards, the, the summonable White Hot Face-Off Goku, the super physical one. You'll Dokkan Wake in the Super Saiyan God Goku card with medals from this event. You need the Videl, Videl uh, Gohan, Vegeta, Goten, and Trunks medals. And then you go over to the uh, uh, God of Destruction event, uh, the Seventh Universe's God of Destruction event, and then you could Dokkan Wake in this God Goku again. Um, I believe you need 35 medals for that, uh, so that way he becomes a TUR. He's a pretty good unit, I'd recommend doing at least getting up to Super Attack 10 and then Dokkan Awakening him. Um, I'm still going to go and try to get uh, hit the SSR variant to for at least four dupe heads unlocked, maybe just the top left and bottom right, uh, just to do that. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and do that out. I'll do that up. You also have the Beerus medals that are available to Dokkan Waken, the Super Intelligence or the Intelligence God Goku card to TUR. He's not a fierce battle guy, which kind of stinks. Um, then you also have the Whis, Whis medals, so you can Dokkan Waken both both the Technique and the Intelligence Whises. Highly recommend doing that. Go ahead, grab all those medals. Uh, Beerus is level 1, Whis medals are stage 2. Uh, stages 3 and 4 are some really good items. Stage 5 is Gohan medals, 6 is Goten and Trunks medals, 7 is Vegeta medals, 8 is Videl medals, 9 is Goku, the actual card, and the last 3 stages are just some training items. You don't really need to do that. Um, it says character experience, but it was good back in the day. It wasn't even good back in the day, honestly. Um, peel off metal uh, item. Reduce opponent super attacks to normal attacks for one turn. Definitely really good if you're running like a lot of counters, uh, like the Super Vegito stuff like that, um, or the Super Saiyan God Vegito. A key plus three for attacking characters is going to be the shoe. And my is reduce enemies attack by 30% for one turn. Not that great because it's only one turn, but it's definitely something you could do for like smaller events that you're taking on. Uh, might be beneficial. Highly recommend going and doing all that if you haven't done so already. Um, I should probably go and grind out some more of those Beerus medals for myself just because it's it'll, it'll be good to have. Um, the other next one is going to be the Fight Against Despair event that's on. Um, you have... There's really not a lot going on here. You do have the Trunks Youth Future, which Dokkan Wake into Super Saiyan Trunks, which you feed into other Super Saiyan Trunks from the future. Uh, really beneficial. You need the Vegeta medal, so Dokkan Wake in this Vegeta. He actually becomes decent uh, support over here when you go and get him Dokkan Wake and before he just sucked. Uh, no, he's not that bad. Uh, this Trunks get up to Super Attack 10. Dokkan Wakens to Super Saiyan Trunks Future, so any other Super Saiyan Trunks Future he can feed into. Plus, when he Dokkan, he gets a second Dokkan Awakening from another event, which makes him very viable, so I highly recommend getting him Super Attack 10. Um, I should actually probably go do that now to get his Dupaz unlocked, because I have not Dokkan Awakened him a second time, so I'm probably going to jump on that this week. Um, this is his second Dokkan Awakening. You need the Miracle Sword of Light event. He becomes a TUR, attack plus 70% when facing two or fewer enemies. Now, that's not doesn't sound great, but for a free-to-play unit, especially for Prime Battle, he will be very viable. So keep that in mind. Um, the tech Super Saiyan Gohan from the future gets a Dokkan Awakening from this event as well. You need the Gohan medals. Um, he's still not that great. Attack and defense plus 80% or plus 70% when HP is 80% or below. Not a huge... Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that, but um, turn the tables through attack and defense buff. Um, I believe he has the Kaioken mechanic when he launches a super attack. But overall, not that great, but definitely recommend getting him Dokkan Waken nonetheless. Um, let's see over here. So stage 2, you have some good training locations. I should probably actually do that. I'm running low on those. So do the stage 2, uh, the Android's arrival. Gohan, the free-to-play Gohans are available on stage 3. Um, stage 4 is going to be the Gohan Metal. Stage 5 is going to be the Trunks. Is definitely recommend getting him Super Attack 10 and at least the top left and bottom right dupe path. Stage 6 is going to be the Android Metals, Android 17 and 18. Stage 7 is Vegeta. Stage 8 is Cell. And then you get some uh, actual Hercule statues from Stage 9. Not really worth it in my opinion. Um, stage 10, 11, and 12 have special conditions. Stage 10, you need the free-to-play Gohan card in your team in order to take it on. Stage 11, you need the Trunks. Uh, Super Saiyan Trunks, you need the TU um, or Dokkan Awaken him, the first form. 
Um, and then I don't know if a second form will actually work. I'm pretty sure it won't. And in stage 12, you need both the Trunks and the Gohan on the team in order to run it. Um, I actually had to do it because it renewed the uh, actual mission reward. I just reran it one time. If you, as long as you don't use a continue, you can win. And I just used a super. Um, but yeah, so I brought both of them. Uh, the Android, uh, the sorry, the Aider medals uh, are as a defense de uh, damage reduction to the enemy. Uh, Bulma is a damage reduction, and he does like damage or he has health and defense increased by 50%. I'm sorry. Um, Bulma is HP regeneration and damage reduction or attack buff. And Icarus is a two-turn attack uh, or damage reduction. So re Icarus's are really good. The Bombs are decent, and Aiders are eh, uh, they're there. If you have if you have a category team, that that Aider will be really good. I mean, even on a 120 team, it could be beneficial. Uh, but that's that's that for this event that's here. So make sure you go ahead and take that on when it's available. It runs until 7-Eleven or July 11th. By the way, 7-Eleven day for those of you who don't know, you can go to a 7-Eleven get a free small Slurpee. Go ahead and do that by the on July 11th. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. <laughs> um, the the, God, the uh, actual Battle of Gods event is available till 8.13, so we have a whole damn month and a half for, of that being here. Um, the next one is going to be the new Threat Saiyan Warrior races here. That runs until July 11th as well. Um, you get the free-to-play Raditz here, the free-to-play Vegeta here, the free-to-play Gohan here. Not really worth it, any of them, but if you're lacking a great ape team, uh, at least you could throw Nappa on there because he has that transformation. There's some type of requirements once in a while for you needing a, a transformation or great ape on a team, so he could at least be your free-to-play one. There's also new support item, recover 55% HP and reduce damage received by 30% for one turn. Um, that's Princess Snake. She's really good. I really like her. Uh, let's see over here. You have the Vegeta. You need the Moon and Nappa medals from the last, last stage. Three of them in order to Doken Wake and Vegeta. Three of them to Doken Wake and um, Raditz. And I think you need three for Nappa as well. Um, I, you don't really need to Doken Well, actually, you do need to Doken Wake and Nappa because you need the giant ape variant of him. For some of those specific events um, but definitely go ahead and get the vegeta and the rats taken care of because they're pretty damn decent when you when you set them up properly uh gohan's available stage three piccolo stage four goku metal stage five uh you don't really i mean you can use those metals whatever uh stage seven is going to be the the nappas by the way the nappa the metals you do need those two metals the four and the five for nappa krillin's uh, metals are on eight vegeta the actual card is stage nine and the nappa moon metals are stage ten um the good thing about this the nappa and the uh, Vegeta will feed into their OG counterparts. So, like, for those of you who were here along with me, who played the original stage before they changed, like, before, like, they renewed it, they refreshed it, you will have the old Nappa and Vegeta cards. They have different titles. So you can go ahead and farm these out and increase the super attacks of them with these cards at 100% rate. So I'm probably going to do that because I haven't done that yet, but I don't know. That's just kind of, like, a, a dinking around type of thing for me, and I still want to get my Broly to super attack 10. Uh, the second LR Broly that I pulled. So I'm going to get him to TUR for linking, but... Um, next, last but not least, 7-6, this runs until 7-6, is the Otherworld Tournament event. Um, that's here. Honestly, there's not that much to say. Get the free-to-play Goku. He's available on Stage 1. Get him to Super Attack 10. Uh, stage 2 is Goku Medals. Stage 3 is PyCon Medals. Um, the PyCon Medal, the old Stage 3, also has the PyCon Hat for training. Very, very good item. Unfortunately, the medals have a higher drop rate than the hats, like, for now. Um, the Goku also Dokken Wakes and Super Saiyan Goku Angel. Not really that great in my opinion, but he is there. High chance of key plus two, attack plus 80%. Grind, I think you need 24 of each of these medals as well in order to get these guys Dokken Waken, so I highly recommend doing that. Um, I looked at the next banner that, that's coming out, and neither of these guys are available on that banner. Um, so I don't know if we're going to get what the JP has, where all these guys are available now on future banners. Uh, but you need Janemba medals, uh, the Paikuan medals, and the Gogeta medals in order to Doken Wake in the Super Saiyan Goku Angel Super Kaioken. Wow, that's such a mouthful. Um, definitely grind them out. 24 medals of the Paikuan, and then Paikuan, I believe you need the 24 of the Goku medals in order to Doken Wake in him. You also need the Janemba and the Gogeta medals as well. Uh, both of them are really awesome. Paikuan can have his super attack increased. Free to play with the agility one. I'm probably just going to, you know, I, I'm, I'm fed up on waiting on this. I'm probably just going to go ahead and do super attack 10 with um, Elder Kai's because I'm not doing that damn grind. Um, and the super powerful training item, the, the Paikuan hats, 1 million experience per hat. Definitely really good, especially for like LRs and stuff like that. So go grind it out if, you're, if you've got nothing else to do. Um, in terms of banners, now I don't really think you should summon on these banners. But these banners do contain, well, this banner does contain the LR. This is the who's, who's the strongest Eternal Rivals. Maybe I will do a summoning video on this. I'll, I'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, it runs until 7-11. One featured SSR guaranteed for multi-summon. Um, these are the featured. So the Super Saiyan Goku Rage is, uh, he's not really great. Um, if you don't have the percentage, the uh, actual nuclear leader, uh, Vegeta, he's good to have for certain situations. Uh, World Tournament, if you have nothing else but like the Xeno Trunks. 
uh, the Great Brilliance Goku attack plus 15% uh, per strength key orb obtained. He, him and Vegeta both are nukers. They get Doken Awakened to become really bad, damn badass. Uh, so they're pretty awesome. You have a whole bunch of other good units. Like I said, there's also all the LRs that are available here. So, again, don't try to hunt, but for discounted summons, you might want to try one or two. Maybe you'll get lucky, but I really don't think you should do it just because the uh, third year anniversary is literally right around the corner. I think the third year anniversary is going to start on the 12th just because this runs until the 11th. World Tournament Summons are here, guaranteed SSRs. Um, I did record a video for the uh, summons already for the Dragon Ball Saga summons. Um, I'm probably going to do two of them. I also put a compilation of my uh, uh, Dragon Ball Legend summons as well. That's going to be going up this weekend. Uh, this is going to be available until 7-Eleven as well. Uh, a lot of these guys, I mean, I I'm personally waiting myself until they split up the banners uh, just because I want to get... Um, I want to go for the World Tournament rewards for some of them that I don't have, and sometimes you just get the crappy as guaranteed SSRs that like are like not World Tournament and not even good. Um, so yeah, that's that. Also, the Dragon Ball Saga summons, you have the new Jackie Chun, you have the new Ran Fan, and the new Yamcha that are available. Um, so you'll check out that video when it's available. Uh, Jackie Chun automatically Doken Wakens right out the bat, so if you have the actual Master Mark medals, you can Doken Waken him. Um, Kid Goku, the agility one, it gets a Doken Awakening. From those medals, Kami gets a Doken Awakening from those medals. So yeah, go ahead, check that out. Um, do the summons if you have them, if you want to. I'd recommend doing it now if you've been saving, like I've been saving. I want that Jackie Chun. Last but not least, other summon that you might want to consider actually doing is going to be the other World Tournament runs until 7-5. You get the discounted summons, highly recommend doing that. Um, I, I, if you didn't see the video, I did get the Perfect Cell Angel, the agility one. I was super hyped about that because I did not pull him last time. Um, and like now I have so many damn Pike ones. He's all like all super like he's like not super tech 10 But I think he's like super tech 3 right now and I have all four Dupans unlocked of him So I'm super hyped about that um, But I, I would actually recommend doing that just because we don't know if this is going to be available in the future We don't know when it's coming back I know the JP side is available on all the future banners But I don't know if it's gonna be like that on the global side. But anyway guys, thank you for joining me here today uh, Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I'll catch you all later. Peace